Ratchet, you will have to use the Landstalker's mortars to destroy those Quasar orbs. That should clear the way. Hello, and welcome to Games Games. Thank you so much for coming to see me play some more Ratchet Gladiator today. We are currently on a rampage with the Landstalker. This machine is so open. What Nothing I stands a chance. Ratchet uses the bathroom in that suit. That's a great Team question. Star Honestly. Is breaking this place apart. That we most definitely are. And this machine is so good. It also is really agile. Like I feel like a spider crawling towards this destination, shooting laser beams from my weapons, which is kind of what's happening. Stalker. Oh, I can't imagine the damage Bill Zone is gonna get for this. You guys don't get damage, Bill. It's a funny thought, though. They're pretending they're not war criminals. I wonder if the Landstalker stick or auto. We're almost there. We're almost there. Just one more ship. Boom! That's it. I also like the clank clank that the Landstalker makes as it moves. It makes you feel like you're really grounded in the machine. Alright! Challenge complete! So, this planet has about three or four different missions in it in order to complete Catacrone 4. This is one of them. I'll complete the rest after. We are loving this carnage, folks. But it's time for the final showdown in the Catacrone Burial Dome. There's no telling what lurks inside these walls. Now cometh the hordes of zombies. Ratchet, you must defeat all your opponents in order to complete this challenge. In other words, stay alive. They're coming up from the ground! Honestly, this section can be a little bit of a challenge, because the zombies come at you from all corners and you have no space to run, and limited ammo, so you've got to really make sure that you use everything wisely. Always good to use your wrench when you want to conserve ammo. There you go. Oh snap, sounds like they're coming from everywhere. Yes they are, yes they are. Run! Have you ever wondered what's in the special sauce? Yes, I have. The other thing that he says that I love is, have you ever seen the Diablo in the pale moonlight? I have, and it's fantastic! So many good quotes from this guy. Oh boy, we're getting surrounded again, and it's only round three out of five. I'm still doing pretty good on ammo though, so I think I'm alright. The noise the zombies make as they die is actually really satisfying. Dual Vipers are so good against this type of I wonder enemy. how sentient the enemy bots are, if they're just really, really clever, or if they're just basic AI programs. Man, if there was a yo mama joke to take a cake, that one is it. When they all line up like that, the dual vipers are very good. Last round, we'll be fine. We got this. As long as we can use the magma hand cannon, we'll be fine. I think explosions are pretty. Excellent work, Ratchet. I must admit, I was worried. I'm glad you were, because I thought I had that. You worried for both of us. Cool, and we also have the hacker ray. That's our first campaign complete. Well done, Ratchet. You have completed your first Dread Zone campaign and won a medal. You have also unlocked a new set of objectives called Dread Challenges. Earning medals and defeating Dread Challenges are the key to survival in Dread Zone. Or the key to extra bolts, money, and that kind of stuff, which helps us later. It's time, time to destroy the things with the land. Take out as many oh as boy, can. this is always so good. We're on a roll. One man's got the turret down and a heap of enemies to come. This mission is 
times. The only difficulty you have a certain amount of time to defeat 66 enemies. Which I do not foresee being an issue at all. Your bots accumulate attack power each time they take a hit or deal damage. When the power meter reaches full, you can order them to deliver a devastating special attack. Ah, oh, the Ravenger! This is amazing when you're outside of Land Stalker Turret because it's actually really useful, but it does feel like it's a really bland weapon in comparison to what the Land Stalker is capable of doing. So I used it and it was alright. We're almost done! Reminder that these challenges are being completed on Hero Difficulty, so this is more challenging than it would be otherwise. Hoverbike Madness! This one's hard, just because you get a time how you're driving and shooting, and this one's just... interesting. Alright, here we go! So far, so good. I really feel like the enemy are just distractions if you actually try to engage in combat with them, you tend to get lost. Jump! Another jump! Ah, oh, man, it's always the turning. Back up, back up, back up, we got this. Oh, this is more fun than a busload of cheerleaders! I'm sure it is. Thank you for your contribution there, Comet. He always says the most funny thing. Home stretch! Last few. Yes! Woo! Alright, challenge complete. That one was always a little bit hard, and I remember when I first played that, it was something that you had to try a few times to get the hang of. Glad that one's done. Next! Okay, whenever I play this particular planet, Catacomb 4, this mission sticks in my mind as the mission on Catacomb 4. Alright, we're getting Napalm and the Obliterator. Honestly, the only combination you ever need with that weapon. You will see at the top of the screen the weapons which are available. With the statistics of the weapon just below, each weapon can equip a powerful Omega modification. This is a Dread Zone favorite. Our contestant will have to destroy three ancient statues all in a matter of minutes. You gotta love it. There goes my new weapon and its mod. I think the first time that I played this mission, I didn't figure out how to actually blow up the statues, and so I failed the mission, even though I was really good at the combat, and I was going, what? So it sticks in my mind as a mission that I remember overcoming, and then going, oh, okay, that's how you do it. It's actually really satisfying for them not to do this. Was a tough cookie. What kind of That's cookie all right, would he just be? one hit. I'm gonna go with Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoo, hey? Why did you choose Snickerdoo? That's a really interesting choice. Heal up. All right, almost done. Two more statues left. Once this one is finished, uh, one. This is a perfect choke point for these zombies too. You can really get them with the magnet cannon. Woohoo! Two down, one to go! Don't film me! I'm taking you down, camera. It seems that if you shoot the zombies with the acid mod, even if they're running at you before they go to a slower pace, which is really handy to know. So, I can handle lots of them as long as I shoot them and then get some distance. Like 
that. That guy was running and now he's walking because I shot him with the acid mod. Also, I know the zombies spawn from the ground, but how much dirt do they have to actually climb up to come and attack us? And then, do they climb through the cement of this building in order to attack us? I know I shouldn't think about that in this detail, but I'm just really curious. Level 2! Alright! I'm Mac Mahan, Cannon is Mike, and my pal Rage. It unlocks a new alpha modification slot for you to use. Thanks, Blank. Oh man, these guys are hot! Did you feel that, Juanita? I really just want to see, like, what happens to those two characters later. So I got seven skill points there, and I'm not too sure what the skill points refer to, but yeah, we did alright. So now, all missions on Catacrime 4 complete. Cool, well let's move on. Sir Rathos. Challenges can be completed in any order once they are unlocked. Your status on Dread Zone now allows you to access Planet Serathos. Alright, I think I'll finish this video here. Thank you so much for watching Gabe's Games today. And if you like this gaming content and would like to see more, please like and subscribe to my channel for more gaming content. Thank you so much for watching.